Hi, and welcome to another tutorial from LiveLink Training. My name is Ken Fisher. Now, not all your photographs are going to come from your camera or your phone. You'll get photos from many different places, by text, by email, I'm downloaded from Facebook, loads of different places. Now how can you get these into elements so you can find and manage them along with all your others? Now to do that there's a very useful tool called the Watch Folder. So let's dig in. Now I'm starting off here in, in the Elements Organizer but just for a second let me minimize that and just go on to the desktop here. And I've got two folders that I want you to look at. The first one is called Photos from Friends. And if I double click to open that up, these are some photographs that I've got from some friends. They've either emailed me, I may have downloaded one off Facebook, whatever. There's eight images here that are in this folder. Now this other, fo this other folder, the More Photos from Friends, we'll look at that in a minute. Now I'm going to go back to the Elements Organizer. And I'm going to define that Photos from Friends folder as a watch folder. Now you can do this lots of different ways. We can go up to the File menu and do Get Photos and Videos in bulk. Or we could go to the File menu down to Watch Folders. Or we can click the Import button and do In Bulk. Now here you can see that my Pictures folder here is defined by default and I may not want that because I've got a load of pictures in it and at this moment I don't want them importing so I'm going to remove it so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select remove and then I want to add the folder that has my images in so I'm going to click add folder then I'm going to navigate onto my desktop and here I've got on my desktop a folder called photos from friends and I'm going to select it and click OK. And you'll see that's now selected. Now just as a point that it, um, if you've got Dropbox or Google Drive or anything like that, you may get those that will appear in this box and they'll try to start downloading images from those points. Just, just remove them. OK, now I'm all set up to go here and I'm just going to click Import. And then I'll click OK. And as you can see here, now that's imported all those photos from that folder from my Photos from Friends folder. OK, now here's something to be aware of that this folder this is now being watched, but it's only watched when you open up the organizer. It's not done constantly. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'll just minimize Photoshop Elements again. And we can see here we've got a more photos from friends. Okay, so I'll double click on that and we'll just bring it down so you can see it. And I've got another six images in here. So what I'll do is I'll select them all. I'll click on the first one and I'll shift click on the last one and I'll copy them. I'll copy and I'll copy them into my photos from friends album. Here we go. So I'll right click and I'll paste. And there you can see now it's it's pasted those additional images into this folder, into my Photos from Friends folder. Right, let's just get rid of those and we'll bring back the organizer. And as you can see, nothing's happened. Because the Photoshop Elements Organizer only checks for this when you start it up. So what I'm going to do is I'll go and click the X and close down Photoshop Elements. And then I'll go and reopen the organizer again. And now you can see not only is those original images in the Photos from Friends folder, but those additional ones are in as well. So, how cool is that? When you receive photos by a set email, text or whatever, watch folders can make it dead easy by allowing you to just drop them into a specific folder and Elements 15 organizer on opening, it'll import them for you. Okay. That wraps up our little chat on watch folders. Quick recap. You can set up folders to be watch folders that Photoshop Elements Organizer is monitoring. 
you drop images into it and the organizer on opening up will import them automatically. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please share this with a friend or two and click the subscribe button so when I upload a new video, you are the first to know. If you've got any comments, please leave them in the comments field underneath the video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.